I believe that everyone is born with an innate ability to create and that we must tap into that divine creativity, whatever that is for each of us. What would it be to have never heard your favorite piece of music or to never have seen your favorite work of art? What would it be like to have never heard that joke that always makes you laugh? All of these things are part of our creative expressions and deep within the soul lies the greatest opportunity to tap into that creative spirit which drives, motivates, and makes life worthwhile. You know, creation is unlimited and has many faces. Any skill that you value which is drawn out of an internal drive is your creativity. Like anything, being creative takes time to learn and to nurture. You can be creative in any life role, as a mom, a doctor, a poet, a teacher, and in any hobby. When you find yourself in a zone, as you express that creativity, that place where you are at complete peace with the world and lose all concept of it and of time, that is your genius zone. That is the place where you are in complete harmony with your creative spirit. And sometimes it's hard to believe in the importance of our creativity. We need guidance to find, honor, and nurture that energy. And we must find people in our lives to serve as support, mentors, and sounding boards so that we can continue to express that creative part of ourselves. And it's not always going to be easy. Those problems that we encounter along the path of our creativity and our self-expression are opportunities for us to learn and to grow. They are the moments that we can find the simpler way, often the more elegant way to move forward. For these incredible lessons, we should all be grateful. I believe that when we have a moment of inspiration, however brief, we must take note in a concrete and permanent way because that moment may never again find us and we may never again find it. I believe our creative talents and skills must be shared with others because it's in sharing that the needle of artistic expression within humanity is able to move forward, forever impacting the way others see and interact with the world, changing what is possible at the hand of mankind. That spirit, that creative part of yourself must be expressed. To keep that expression locked within is detrimental to the body, mind, and spirit. So we must surround ourselves with people who resonate with us whose intelligence, ability, energy, and creativity we aspire to. We need to do this to grow into the more wonderful versions of ourselves so that we can manifest the abilities to do, be, and have the things we never thought were possible. My story of creativity began as a child. I remember coloring in a book and making a mistake where two colors got mixed together. I realized what a beautiful way these colors blended together. And from that day forward, I looked at mistakes and errors as wonderful opportunities. And I didn't have a lot when I was growing up, but what I did have was a mom who noticed my creativity, who taught me the basics of how to sew, and a dad who would pick up a zipper or a spool of thread when he was passing through town on his way back home to our little house in the country. They were always there to give me a hug or a shoulder to cry on when I had victories or huge mistakes. A few years went by and sewing got easier. There was less frustration and worry and more energy and vitality. I am so grateful to have had parents who are supportive and encouraging as they were with me and continue to be to this day. I gravitated to sewing as my hobby and the vehicle for my self-expression. In all of these years that followed, I have had no choice but to figure out how sewing would fit into my life. Sewing has always been there. It's been a part of me for over three decades. I use my sewing machine like other people use their glue gun. It's my right hand. I don't know what I would do without it. I know that when I don't have time to sew, I'm not myself, not as happy, not as giving, and not much fun to be around. There is a sustained energy that comes out of the inventiveness I use when I create, when I sew. That stamina permeates everything else in my life. Sewing is just what I like to do. I sew through junior high, high school, college, internship, my first real job, for my wedding, weddings of my friends, and the list goes on and on. Sewing has always been there, so over time i built up a vast amount of skill and now it's second nature. It's a part of me and I can't move away from it, so I believe that I must embrace it, share my knowledge, and encourage others to express themselves creatively through sewing so that they can reach those things that they aspire to and be an inspiration to others. I believe that you can find power and passion in your creativity. Let's not limit that ability or put it off for another day. It's your day and your right to continually harness that. I believe you have creative brilliance inside of you, and it is my duty to support and honor that and your path within it. 
I believe that you can find infinite joy in the act of creating. I believe that you will inspire.